Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Americana Bistro Grill. I am your host, Roberto Alvarez Galloso, serving you the best in Americana music. For me, it is a pleasure and honor having an institution. Okay, I think I lost the, um, the reception. We'll see if we could get Lee Newton back. And these sort of things really happen because right now I just I just got back from the um, having my Zoom updated, and it's sort of the, and it's sort of like we're waiting to see if Lee Newton comes back. Let me see. This has been this has been like the first time in many in many in the a decade that we've had an Americana Bistro Grill that we've had this sort of problem, ongoing problem. But let's see what happens. This, these are just things. These are just things that are beyond our control. But we're not right now. We're waiting for um for Lee Newton to get back. When she's back in the waiting room here. So these things happen. It must have been the Zoom. Okay. Okay. There we go. I'm kind of sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was doing a far, I was doing a formal introduction. So again. And it's going to be included. Welcome to the Americana Bistro Girl. I'm your host, Roberto Alvarez Gallo. So serving you the best in Americana music. Right now, we have an institution, not only from North Carolina and the South, but also from all of America. Her name is Lee Newton. And for me, it is a pleasure and honor having you here in our program. Uh, I, it is such a pleasure to be on here and such a pleasure to finally get to meet you. For me, the pleasure is mutual. Aww. I hope one day to go to North Carolina or you come to Florida. Hey, that can be arranged. I, I love to go to Florida. Mostly we'll probably be at the, in the Florida Keys or we were to have or Hollywood, Florida, or even here in Miami. But I really Aww. live I really live very far from Miami. I live close by the homestead and and uh, Florida City, but we could uh, arrange Yes, Miami, most definitely. Hollywood, even even Sarasota or Naples. But the reason most why we definitely. have you here is that we have heard about your your career. Your, you have an illustrious career. You have a new album called Homesick. What is what is the inspiration? I, I what is the inspiration behind Homesick? Well, this is my my fourth album uh, that I have done. Um, and then they've all, you know, I started about almost four years ago with starting to record my albums. I've done music my whole life. Um, and my first album um, it was Undamaged and it was Unleashed. I did my, my gospel album, Crossroads. And this one right here, I, I wanted to, I, well, I changed producers um, with this produce, with this album right here. Here, I started working with Dolly Parton's producer who had worked with Dolly Parton for, gosh, over 30 years. He still works with her. And um, and I wanted just to kind of expand a little bit and kind of just challenge myself. And, um, you know, I do love, I love my traditional country, but I do love a little bit of the Southern rock and the the blues and just a little bit of that. And, um, and so a few of the songs have got that, that sound to it, but yet still keeping the 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 traditional country. Um, and a, a lot of the songs on there, um, you know, I wrote and I'm so proud of them. Um, you know, we uh, got Mama Mama Sad, Meant to Be. Um, and then of course, you know, I released Carolina Rain, which was the first single off of this new album. And it, people are still playing. I mean, it's going, and I released it, January first. So <laughs> well, not just the, not just the not, not, not only are people playing it, the video is excellent. You're see, we see a very beautiful video of what North Carolina is. Well, you know that that song Carolina Rain is just so special to me because it's so autobiographical with you know with me being on the road and 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 working family and my home and I, I live in Carolina and I travel back and forth a lot um and you know I love coming back home I love when I'm gone I I, I love it's just a feeling about being back and in Carolina and and the song I knew that people from North Carolina would love it you know and even South Carolina because it's got the Carolina but 
people all over the world have really took to this song because I think it it just has that feeling of home, being at home, no matter where you're at. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the video, um, you know, I lost my dad when I was 11 and he was the biggest inspiration um, to me starting to sing and to play guitar. He taught me how to play the guitar and he, oh my gosh, he was a cab driver and uh, he was just an amazing man. And I remember riding around with him, you know, at the taxi stand and, and um, he would teach me how to play the guitar and, and always said, you know, one day you'll be on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry, you know, and, um, and I actually got to fulfill that dream just this past October um, when I got to close out the show for the JMA Awards um, at the Grand Ole Opry House. So I got to stand on the stage and sing Carolina, which is another song written um, that's on my Unleashed album, um, that the tribute to my mom and dad in Carolina. Um, I, I try to stay really true to my roots and stay grounded and not get caught up in all that <laughs> That stuff, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've had this opportunity of what platform I do have. God's give it to me. And um, I, he's gave me some amazing songs and it's my job to get them out there. <laughs> Great. In addition to homesick, you talk a lot about God. Yes. Which is beautiful. How, what is the importance of God, family and country uh, in your life and career? And how did it inspire you to record one of the greatest gospel albums, Crossroads? Oh, well, thank you for that compliment on the album. I feel the same way. <laughs> um, and I'll tell you why. You know, after I finished um, recording Unleashed is when I started doing the, uh, and, I, and I told myself I'm not doing any other album until I release a gospel album. It was in my heart. I you know, God had gotten me to where I had been. And like you said, God, family and country. I mean, that is my life. You know, um, God is number one and he He has provided for me and taken care of me and my family. Um, and, you know, I love him. And I know that, you know, everywhere I go, I tell my testimony of what I have went through. And I, I tell the testimony of, of what God has done for me. And, um, and I know that, um, and I told him, you know, we talk, I talk to him all the time. I'm, I, I don't pray a lot. I, I talk a lot to him, <laughs> but every time I turn around, he's always, he's always making everything happen in the right time. And that's, you know, we, sometimes we want stuff in our time, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm getting on up a little bit older now and I've done this my whole life, but back then it wasn't my time. I had not lived what I had went through um, and I didn't have a, a testimony to tell yet. So God had his plan for me. And so he's a, he's, he is a huge part of my life and my career and my music, my family. Um, and um, I love my family so much. My, my husband who actually I'm wearing his shirt. <laughs> it's funny. I'm wearing his shirt today, but um, yeah. And he is also a, a musician and, and a singer and songwriter and um so we we balance both of our careers and and be together and we just we just have such a great um respect for one another and love for one another and we're each other's cheerleaders you know and um, that's important of especially course. when you're apart from each other a lot of course which reminds me he's also if he he's also invited to be interviewed in the future Americana Bistro Grill. Oh, he would love that. He I, would love that. He has any albums or anything concerning He does. Career, he just he is got more than invited because we're only yep. inviting those who follow God, yep. family, and country. Well, you, you, you have, love and, him. And if you are married, and if you're a married couple, we believe in interviewing the artists who are married. If the girl has a if the female artist has a if the female artist has a boyfriend. The boyfriend is also invited. Oh. The male artist is, has a girlfriend. The girlfriend is also invited. Also cousins, grandparents, parents are also invited. We like keeping well, everything in the family. And it was, you will it was love one, his music. And it was one thing. It was one thing that I got from my Buckeye tradition. I had a tradition from this from I had a tradition from Spain and Cuba. 
but this one with the Ohio, was Ohio tradition, the one in which the, the couples were interviewed together, stay together. That's right. I would have brought my wife to be interviewed, but she's preparing my uh, my coffee with uh, with milk. Oh, I, I now I gotta make me some coffee. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's from Puerto Rico. She's deeply religious. She has a love of God, family, and country as well. Oh, I love that. I love that. And you know, we were talking about the the gospel album, and God made that album completely happen. Because at that time, I didn't even know how I was going to even have the budget to even do it. I'm like, okay, God. Uh, you want me to do this, this album and I want to do it for you, but I don't know where to start. I don't know what, what, which direction to go. Cause you know, recording and being an independent artist, you pay for everything out of your pocket. So, um, yeah, I was sitting there thinking, okay, it's all, it's all going to work out. I just put it in his hands and sure enough, um, the album, I started reaching out to people. Uh, I'd have these, feelings and these little thoughts and I know it was God talking to me and um, telling me to reach out to certain artists and see if they wanted to be on the album with me and sure enough I mean I ended up getting some of the most amazing artists on the album with me I've got uh, Rhonda Vincent and Joe Bonzel who just passed away from the uh, you know and he was with the Oak Ridge Boys for over 50 years um, he was he was a godly man. I know exactly where he's at right now because he mm -hmm. is, he is, a, he was my, he was my friend and he, he never made me feel like a nobody, even though he was, you know, the Oak Ridge boys and up here, you know, and I was just this little cab driver's daughter that wasn't, you know, I was down here. He never made me feel that way. And he just, um, such a great man. T. Graham Brown, the same thing. He's on my album. Um, my husband is on the album with me. We do one day at a time together. Yeah, I heard it. Um, yep. I heard it and love it. Yes, that's that. That's my husband. Um, and uh, his name's Dale Houston. And uh, I had Deborah Allen on it. I had my best friend Catherine Shipley. Um, Ben Isaacs from the Isaacs um, is on it with me uh, on how great thou art. And then my little boy is on it at the very end, singing "Jesus Loves Me." And um, at the beginning, it's my dad. It's the only recording I have besides the other one of me and him singing. But I have a, a recording of my dad singing, I Saw the Light. And I talk about the importance of my mom taking me to church when I was a little girl and hearing all those beautiful hymns and, and how they had stayed with me and guided me through life, you know. And I thank her for that. I know, you know, in, in my song, Carolina, it says, Mama taught me to praise the Lord. And she did. I mean, um, she had me at every church you could think of. We were, <laughs> yeah, I was a little girl and she'd push me up there to, to sing and stuff. And her and my dad both knew something special was with me that, that, that I wanted to sing and they encouraged it. And, uh, they were both dreamers and they made me a dreamer. And, uh, I know that I have uh, them both up there, both of them. I've, I've lost both of them. Um, and I know they're up there pulling some strings with the, the man upstairs. Great. We've talked about your beginnings. Your How did you how did you get started in, the, in country music? Well, I've loved country music my whole life. Like I said, I used to ride around with my dad. would sit there and he'd play Hank Williams. And I, my first cassette was Patsy Cline. Um, as I grew a little older, I loved the Judds and Lori Morgan, you know, and I just fell in love with them. And and I think it's because I love their, this, their singing and, and the Judds. For me, I just love their songs. Their songs was about family and God and love and being good to each other. And they were just, you know, they, they had some really great, great songs. And um, um and then as I just grew up, you know, I, I was in a few cover bands, um, two actually. And then uh, late 20s, I went uh, sang uh, with uh, three original members from Leonard Skinner uh, in New York City. Um, and that was in my 20s. That's where I get a little bit of the Southern rock from. <laughs> and um, but, I, but I always just came back to country music and I, the heart that's in it because, you know, for me, country music, you know, a lot of the songs, not anymore, much less, because I feel like 
there's some still out there, but that are traditional and they write stories that truly mean, mean a lot. They have meaning and they're from the heart and, you know, um, this, the pop country anymore. Mm -hmm. It's it's not, you know, I mean, to each their own, but it's not, I don't, I don't listen to it. Um, I agree with you. I, I love. That's that's something like with the independent artists. Yeah. Like yeah, Bob I, Seger once said, like Bob Seger once said, today's music ain't got the same soul. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I mean, and it don't every song, I mean, to me, you know, not not every, almost every song out um sounds about the same. They all sound the same to me. Um, but that's just me. That's my opinion, and I, I feel that way. And and um, uh, but you know, and I know that music evolves through the years, you know, but um, I don't know, I just feel it's become so commercialized now that they just yeah. put some, some words, a bunch of words together and put it to a pop beat. You're not the only one. You're not yeah. the only one who thinks that. I think the same thing. That's the other yeah. reason why I'm bringing up, bringing all of these artists to be interviewed because we want the true Americana music, the true country, the true the true blues, the true Southern rock, or yeah, even Midwest, exactly. or even Midwest yeah. rock or Rocky Mountains, the true yeah. stuff. We don't want, we don't want the uh, artificial. We want the true stuff. Yeah. Even when I go to Nashville, I literally, I don't go downtown. Um, it's just too, it's like a little mini Vegas and I just don't get into that. Um, I do love going to Music City Valley, and that's where um, I usually will go to the Troubadour, uh, which is close to the Opry, um, and Music City Bar and Grill, and um, that around in that general location is the place that I love when I go to Nashville. Um, it just feels more country to me, and I, I love everybody there, and, and you're going to see a lot of the artists that come from the Opry. They come walking in there. I mean, you know, there's Vince Gill or Jeannie Seeley or, you know, you just, you never know who's going to walk through. I mean, I was, I've met Connie Smith three times, uh, different places. One was backstage at the Opry and then uh, I've met her a couple other times, but yeah, it, it's, it's country music today. Um, it, it's just not the same, um, not the same. And I, and, and there's a lot of people out there that are starving for, to hear real good country music, and there and there are artists out there that that are fighting to to keep it going. That mm-hmm. that true, like I mean, I I love having my steel guitar and my songs on my and it's in my my album a lot. Um, and you know the my my last country album won a um, 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 traditional country album of the year and. That was at the JMA Awards at the Opry House. And um, and last year, I won traditional um, female artist of the year. So being a traditional country music, that means a lot to me and getting recognized for that. Great. Uh, and how, well, how, do you see that, how do you see your future and how do you see the future of uh, country music in the traditional, uh, the traditional one? Well... For me, I want to continue to to challenge myself to um, to keep writing my songs um, and to be able to still be playing um, and more shows. Though I really want to do more shows in the future. Um, I've done a lot so far, but I really want to expand and and really go all over all over and and do a lot of different places singing. Um, and I want to be able to do shows with my husband too. You know, he's an independent artist and he does his thing and I do mine and we, we come together and do duets too. And, you know, I, I would like to eventually have a you know show here and there with us doing that too. I think that would be really amazing. Um, cause people love us together as well. Um, but we both have our individual styles and they, they come together beautiful too. Um, and, um, you know, I just most definitely want to just keep, like I've told in several interviews, I just want to keep obeying the Lord and, and wherever he leads me, I want to be obedient and follow him. Um, and every time I do, he, it, he, he, he sends signs and signals everywhere that lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. 
Great. And where can we find your music? Um, you can go to Lee Newton official dot com or you can go to youtube uh lee newton um i'm on there as well um and all the social medias i i do facebook um all of them and i and i love to engage with people i love i let everybody in on my life and my little boy's life and my husband's life and our journey because you know um everybody has really supported um me along this way and and i i take them along for the ride Great. Before I before I leave, I want to tell all of my all of my all the people who watch the American Bistro Grill, please visit Lee Newton's Lisa Newton's visit Lee Newton's website. I need the coffee for my wife Morelia. <laughs> I need so. I need so too. Yeah. <laughs> please visit Lee Newton's website. Buy her records. Visit her on YouTube. Go to all the social media that she has. Even in Spotify, even visit her in Spotify. Uh, support all the independent artists. Also support her husband. Remember, your husband is also has an out, uh, has an outstanding invitation to come. You're also invited to be interviewed along with um, along with your husband. In addition, any artists, any country artists, or American artists that have God, family, and country in their heart, their minds. And, all, and everywhere, and they feel it, please, come one, come all, the more the merrier, because we need to not only spread the true Americana music, we need to spread the word of God. Yes. And also, in my part, now please visit me in all of the social media as well. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bright Young, Bit Shoot Gap, and if you want to donate, I also have a Zelle, you could also see it in the email. Because with the Zell, I can do all the interviews and start helping most of these artists reach their potential, not only here, but around the world. Because the message is not just the artist. The message is the word of the Lord. And we need the word of the Lord. Yes, we do. Don't leave yet. But um, this is, I'm going to be saying a goodbye to my, um, to my public here. This is Roberto Alvarez Gayoso. From the Americana Bistro Grill, from the heart of Florida. Actually, we're in Miami, but we're closer to the Keys than we are to the center. I want to wish everybody the best. May God bless you now and always. Peace in, peace out, and peace everywhere. But remember, you have to have peace in, peace out, and peace everywhere with God, family, and country. If not, forget it. Until next time.